Hey guys, if you like my videos, click on subscribe and give me a like. And don't forget the bell so you can get notified of new ones. Hey everybody, Dale here. Thanks for watching. Um, in this video, I got a brand new Acer Aspire 5 model. Um, it's an A515 series. They're nice little laptops. Full, full HD display and whatnot. But it ships from the factory with 4 gigs of RAM, this model, and a 128 gigabyte NVMe drive. Um, solid state, of course. So it ships in the box. When you open it up, it comes with a little upgrade kit here. So you can add a two and a half inch drive, either a mechanical drive, which is what I'm going to do today for extra storage, or of course you can put a solid state drive in here and load Windows on it. But for this one, I'm just going to add a regular one terabyte drive. So we're going to add a, a lot of extra storage. So I'm going to close the lid. Flip it over, got to remove all the screws, which I've already done. Uh, Acer was kind and put nice big holes for the screws, so you don't have to worry about getting too many tool marks in there. So once you get all the screws, then we just have to remove the bottom pan, which isn't too difficult. But pick a corner or someplace and start, because we've got to break it, break it away from the seam right here. Sometimes you can get your little spudger in there, sometimes, just depends. Yeah, there we go. Get it started, just like that. I just kind of work it along the front here and these ones do come off pretty easy. I've opened them up before Just got to be careful though how far you go in there. You don't want to poke a speaker because there's speakers right there So once you get that started you can kind of just jiggle it Usually just like that and it, and it pops loose and keep an eye on the Ethernet thing back there get that out of the way and There it is and here's our 128 gig NVMe drive right here, which can easily be upgraded to a larger size at some point if you wanted to. And here's an uh, empty RAM slot, and over here is where this mounting bay is going to go. So first I'm going to put the extra RAM in it, get it up to 8 gigabytes, DDR4. Stick a RAM here. Pop that in just like that. There, that was easy. And in case you're wondering, my bench tops are all anti-static. I spray them all the time. So we're gonna install this bay over here, put the hard drive in. So let's let me show you what we got to do here. This little SATA connector, of course, is gonna go on the hard drive, but this plugs into the motherboard. They got it right underneath the front of the Wi-Fi card here. So we got it. This doesn't flip up quite far enough. So we got to remove the Wi-Fi card. So let me get that out of the way first. Just one screw. Be very careful to get it out. If you're lucky, you can get it out without the wires coming off there. The antenna wires. Those are sometimes a pain to get back on. I'm going to jiggle that loose just far enough so we can get our little ribbon cable snapped in there. And I'm going to go ahead and do that first. Just easier. Flip it around. Get my poker here. I'm gonna flip this up. If you want to get a shot over here, there. You gotta flip that little lever up there that locks this cable in place there. Alright, I'm gonna get close and personal here. Just gonna make sure this is seated in there all the way. Most important part, we gotta get that out of the way. There you guys. Lock that back down. And you can, that little white line along the front, the end of the cable there, if it lines up flush with the connect, with the little flip down lever there, you're, you're gonna be good. So let me get that wireless card back in there. Jiggle it back in. Just like that. All right, what I, where did I lay my screw? So we got to secure it back down carefully. Those screws are tiny, you can see. Okay, keep going. Now I. In the past, or the last couple of these I did, just beware flipping this thing around with it open because the battery is not screwed in. It's literally just sitting there. The 
bottom pan holds that all on. This thing just comes right out, so be, be beware of that. All right, so I'm gonna turn this around. We gotta disconnect this cable here because our mounting bay has to go underneath. So we're gonna flip this little guy up carefully. Just like that, we're gonna get this out of the way. This is for this little I.O. board over here. We're gonna take our hard drive, put in the mounting thing. And in the bag here, they even send you screws. Oop. Get my magnet here. All right, so let's get that mounted in there. Actually, do it the old fashioned way. Don't want it to be super duper tight, just secure. So, then we got that mounted in the bracket. So now we're going to set it in here first. This kind of has a kind of a semi-bend in it from the factory because we have to kind of twist it a little bit, which is okay. Got to be careful. You know that? Thank you. Got to get this into the drive. Be very gentle. Let's set that in place. We're going to have a screw point here, here, over here, and one over here. Thank you. So let's connect this back up before we screw it in. You so always gotta be careful with these ribbon cables, these connectors. Snap that back down, it looks good, good alignment there. So now we're gonna take the screws they sent us, mount that in there. Like that. Yeah, like I said, I just took this laptop out of the box. We'll get into Windows and get all the updates. Go into disk management and we'll format and partition this brand new Seagate hard drive. Have all that extra storage. But again, you can this could be solid state. You can make this one bigger if you want, but in this case, this is what the customer wanted. So there, we got the got the new hard drive in there. We added some more RAM. I'm gonna put the cover, make sure everything's lined up. The battery, hand back on. Just kind of go around the edge and gently snap it back in place. And always be cautious. There's a screen under here. You want to be pressing down on that. You don't have to. So there, we'll put the screws back in it, boot it up, and be all set to go. So that was a fairly easy little upgrade. And Aspire 5, I appreciate you guys watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a like. You can even click the little bell to get notified of all my new videos. So thanks for watching and have a great day.